knew Kenny was here. It's really. He's going like that. We're not going to come back. <laughs> We've got no choice. We've got no choice. Yeah. You go where God tells you to go. Amen. Amen. That was good. You want to read out of my Bible? I got notes. Do I know? You want to read my notes? I got it memorized. All right. <laughs> Amen. 
that boy. It's good. Mm -hmm. Lord's good. Amen. All right, if you will, and I'm going to, um, thank you. Uh, let me take this up here. And uh, take your Bibles and go to the book of Ecclesiastes. All right. Yeah, Lord. Book of Ecclesiastes. I want to thank you all and thank Pastor and Deanna for allowing us to come by again. It's a blessing. Amen. And one of these days we'll meet around the throne. Amen. Amen. We'll be out of here. Amen. And that'll be a great day. Um, all, right. all right, the book of Ecclesiastes is where we'll go. Ecclesiastes chapter 3. So uh, we'll look at some things here tonight. Yeah, those colors, boy. Beautiful. I wanted to stop. We didn't have time. And uh, ask, you know, I don't know what the house was, but just saying, do you mind if I walk out? And you get in that thing, and it's just, boy, it's beautiful. Nice. Nice time of year up here. Yes. Uh, praise the Lord. I guess that kind of makes up for what's beyond it. <laughs> <laughs> we don't think beyond it right now. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, amen. <laughs> amen. I don't blame you. Uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 3. And uh, let's see here. Let's uh, let's start um, yeah, for the sake of time. <coughs> let's do uh, uh, verse 14. Ecclesiastes 3. <coughs> And uh, verse 14 is where we'll start. I know that whatsoever God doeth, it should be forever. Nothing can be put to it, nor anything uh, taken from it. Now, this is the mentality of a man, uh, what's done under the sun. And obviously, there's going to be a new heaven and a new earth. Uh, nor anything taken from it, and God doeth it, that men should fear before him. Amen. That which hath been is now, and that which to be, is to be hath already been, and God requireth that which is past. And moreover, this is my text tonight. Moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment, that wickedness was there, and the place of righteousness, that iniquity was there. I said in my heart, God shall judge the righteous and the wicked. For there is a time there for every purpose and for every work. Let's bow our heads for a word of prayer. Father, God, thank you, Lord God, for the prayer time. God, thank you for salvation, God. And God, it sure is good to be in a clean place. Get so tired of sin, tired of myself. God, I pray you to help me now. Bless the sermon. God, I pray you'd be pleased, Lord. I, God, I was thinking about the other one and then went this way. And God, as far as I know, if I stood before you, God, I believe this is the way to go. And I pray, Lord God, that you'd be pleased and God, that you would bless. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Now he says here, he says, Moreover, I saw under the sun the uh, place of judgment, that wickedness was there, and the place of righteousness, that iniquity was there. See, the place of judgment is a place where uh, a decision is made based on what's right and wrong. And the judgment ought to be, you ought to do what's right. But that doesn't always happen. But it's a place of judgment. Uh, and those the place of judgment, he says, there was wickedness there. And uh, the place of righteousness and iniquity was there. We're in an age where uh, they don't want judgment. Uh, they don't want to make judgment. Liberals don't want judgment. Uh, down there in uh, Los Angeles, they've got homeless all over the place. San Francisco, homeless. They got piles of uh, doo-doo. 
uh, on the in the on the streets, in the streets, on the sidewalks, uh, needles. I mean, homelessness and uh, the the uh, concern now is that there's going to be pestilences breaking out, uh, plagues, bubonic plagues, and things like that because of the filth. Well, why do they allow that? Because they don't want to bring judgment and say, we're not going to let you do that. That's wrong. That's not right. The liberals that are running the place don't want to do that. Well, we just... We don't want to make judgment. What's wrong? It's an effeminate mindset of touchy-feely, and they don't want to do right and wrong. And God got upset with Israel when Israel was apostate because he says over there in Isaiah, he said, you're not doing any judgment. You're not making judgments. You fail to bring judgment. Equity, uh, uh, I forget how the thing goes there. And he says, truth is falling in the street. And they don't want judgment. And you know, I'm sure you're familiar with the, with the uh, uh, admonishment, judge not lest you be judged. Uh, don't judge and judge, don't be judgmental. Uh, you Christians, you Baptists, you Bible believers, you're just so judgmental. Amen. Well, the Bible does say, he that is spiritual judgeth all things. Uh, if you don't know what's right and wrong on a thing, you need to pray and say, God, what is right and wrong? Mm -hmm. uh, if you're spiritual, you're judging things all day long. You're just, that's right, that's wrong, that's right, that's wrong. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, I'm going to do that. This is real. And on and on and on. And the world says, oh, that's horrible. Oh, you shouldn't do that. And uh, no, yes, you should. You need to determine and judge what's right and wrong. And you've got the uh, ruler to go by right there, that book. But uh, Solomon says, I beheld the place of judgment. <clears throat> and uh, he said there was wickedness there. Um, he said, that like, where? Well, the first place of judgment where wickedness is present is mom and dad. Uh, I don't know how you grew up. I don't know who your mom and dad were, whatever, on and on. But the mom and dad uh, had the place of judgment. And uh, unfortunately, there's wickedness there. You still had a good mom and dad. That's fine, but it's still there. And uh, maybe you're a black sheep. Maybe you weren't. Maybe you're the prima donna. <laughs> You know, but uh, unequal judgment uh, in the kids and all that. Yeah, that happens. That happens. And uh, maybe it was a home and one of the parents was a drunk and uh, whatever. And you see judgment taking place. And, and there's many a person today that never recovered because of the wickedness in the place of judgment with mom and dad. And they just, they can't get past it. You got to get past it. In this life, the place of judgment, guess what? Well, wickedness is there. There's no doubt about it. I mean, I, I uh, mention it often. I think about Dory and uh, how her mother had a one night stand. Dory was the product and Dory was hated. Her mother hated her and said whenever Dory would say mama, she'd say, don't you call me mama, you call me Laura. And her sister Maria, which was younger, uh, 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 Laura, her mom, just loved her and would hold her. And Dory was constantly rejected and abused and treated horribly. Ended up in an orphanage, abused in the orphanage turned upside down and had her head dipped in the toilet as they flushed it. And she learned how to blow bubbles through her nose in a toilet so that the water wouldn't go up her nose. And Dory got saved and married and was a missionary and got victory through all that. But there was a place of judgment and it was wicked. It was wicked. 
and uh, the place of judgment and wickedness uh, was there. If you blame God, you get bitter. Yeah. Uh, if you forgive, uh, grow in grace, you get better. And uh, that's what you're here to do, place of judgment. I'll tell you another place of judgment and wickedness was there, is there is the government. And, uh, you know, there, there's uh, radio and television programs, and I'm not against them. I thank uh, the Lord for the, the um, what do you call it, being made known, the wickedness. Uh, people like it, I don't, I don't listen anymore, um, but uh, Limbaugh or Hannity or whoever. And But it's easy to pick, well, that's not right, and that's not right. Well, the government this, and the government that, and that's not right. Yeah, wickedness is there. There's no doubt about it. No doubt about it. And people make a living on uh, pointing out the wickedness, letting people know. And, and that's a good thing. Yeah, it's good to know. And it's good to, to make that stuff known. It's better than having it all covered up. Right. Um, it helps you to know how to vote and that sort of thing. But uh, the judges and uh, various things, I mean, wickedness in the government, but uh, we don't have it bad. I mean, the government's old. When well, past sentence, the martyrs were burned at the stake, pronounced judgment by the government because they wouldn't bow down to a statue of Mary. And the government said, burn them, burn them. You say, that's wicked. Yep. Yep. But it's there. Yeah. It's there. And Solomon says, I beheld the place of judgment. And a wickedness was there. Roe versus Wade. We have abortion at will now. Abortion at will. I was telling Pastor and his wife that uh, there's how uh, you can Google it and get it. It's wicked. That uh, in Illinois, there's a hospital that has a comfort room. I could bring it up, and I'm not going to do enough time. Um, they have comfort room that for the aborted babies that live, that they wrap them up and keep them warm, warm until they die. And that they take these aborted babies into this comfort room. And if the parents want, they can get the baby's first picture. They can let the parents hold it while it dies. The aborted babies. And they've got a comfort room for the aborted babies that are alive. Now, why isn't that hospital taken to court? I mean, where's the judgment? Yeah. That is an abomination to the max. Yeah. Yeah. It's just wicked. Absolutely wicked. And uh, on that article, there was a link my wife went to, and uh, they interviewed this uh, lady and her husband, and the lady uh, enjoys getting pregnant and aborting her children. I mean, it, just, it is sick. She's on her eighth baby. And she takes them to 24 weeks, aborts them so she can get pregnant again because she likes the feeling of being pregnant. What is that? That's devils. It's devils. But what is that? That's wickedness. I beheld the place of judgment, and wickedness was there. Roe versus Wade, uh, it's just wicked. Uh, the place of judgment, wicked was there. Another place of judgment, <clears throat> and a wickedness is there, and that's hospitals. That's hospitals. Uh, doctors, nurses, and places, and they've got judgments to be made. And uh, most of the time, uh, the doctors, nurses, they're trying to do right. They're trying to do right. I believe that, but not always. I mean, I used to copy uh, medical records, and uh, I don't see anybody out there. But I copied medical records, and I read stories, and I heard stories in uh, medical records. 
and uh, the things that went on in the hospitals and things. And, and they said, don't let that out, don't let that out. And, uh, you know, decisions made. I, I think about one uh, story that I had uh, read, not in medical records. This was, I believe it was online. But it was not long after the microwave oven had come out. People didn't understand fully how it operated other than those who built them. And it was an emergency room. Uh, there was a, it was a critical need for blood for this patient. Uh, the blood is kept in the refrigerator, you know, and so it was, it seconds counted and they said, we need blood, we need blood. And they went and they got it. And to warm it quickly, they put it in the microwave. They didn't know it would kill the blood. And they said it, you know, I don't know how many minutes, whatever, brought it out, infused it, and the patient died. You say, but that, that's horrible. Yeah, yeah. It was that w wickedness. I don't know if that, you could say it was wickedness. Maybe it was. Maybe it was. I don't, I don't know. They went to court. The judge sided with the hospital and said, they can't know how everything works and anyway. But the place of judgment, wickedness, wickedness was there. Um, I remember uh, uh, Pastor uh, David Martin, he broke in his arm and uh, his arm had an etern uh, eternal, right, external fixation device uh, was it? Was he like this, or was it just no. he was like this? Yeah. He kind of had to walk around like this, and but it wasn't a cast; it was you know a wooden frame around it, and then it had screws going straight into his arm. You watched; I mean, they just right in. I said, "Does that hurt?" He goes, "No, I'm done." And the screws went right in, and he had to walk around like that until I healed. You know, and he said he went into the doctor's office. The day came; he's going to get it removed. And he's in the doctor's office. Doctor came in and doctor's getting everything ready. And uh, the doctor pulled out a Makita 3 8 inch drive reversible cordless screwdriver. <laughs> Remember the old Makita with the long, you know, thing there? And uh, that's what he had. And uh, I, I don't know if it was a flathead or Phillips, but, uh, you know, and he got it all set up and he's getting ready to remove the screws and David goes Doc, God, I, I just got a question and he said yeah what is it he said would you please make sure that drill is in reverse amen, <laughs> <laughs> amen. I mean you know I've heard stories I'm sure you have you know where they go to remove an arm or a leg and they take the wrong one yeah. you know and I beheld the plug. What, what do you do? What if that was you? Right. You know, it's like. <laughs> and uh, I beheld the place of judgment, and a uh, wickedness was there. And that's what Solomon says. I mean, uh, where's another place of uh, judgment and wickedness was there? Uh, the battlefield. Battlefield. And decisions made uh, out of politics or whatever, and wickedness is there. Wrong decisions made for the wrong reason. Not always. Not always. And yet sometimes. I got a friend I led to the Lord, and he went in the military, and he was a witness. He was a witness. And he led a lot of soldiers to the Lord. But uh, the his... Uh, uh, superior officers, he said, uh, at times they sent him on missions, uh, hoping he would never return. And he said, I knew they didn't want me to come back. And he said, I kept coming back. And he said, it got to a point where uh, I'd go out, and he said, guys were jumped in my foxhole because I would survive and the others wouldn't. And, uh, you know, but uh, he's hot. He's hot. The place of judgment and uh, wickedness was there. Uh, politics involved Hamburger Hill in Vietnam. 241 lives uh, were lost on Hamburger Hill. Try to take this hill, take this hill, take this hill. And after they took it, two weeks later, 
the uh, uh, commanding officer, one in charge, changed. Guy came in, officer came in, looked at the battlefield, looked at the map, and said, we don't even need that hill. It's not even of strategic importance. And he said, and he brought him down, brought him back. And 241 men, dead, dead. I beheld the place of judgment, and a wickedness was there. Um, and sometimes it's just confusion. Uh, in the battle for the, the hunt for the Bismarck, Germany had the, uh, uh, the benchmark, the greatest uh, warship uh, built of that time. It sunk the HMS Hood in three minutes. A uh, British battleship sunk in three minutes, went down. And the call went out, order went out, and said, sink the Bismarck. Wherever it is, find it, sink it. And they were on a mission, the, the Navy was, to sink the Bismarck. They're looking for it, looking for it. And um, they uh, finally found it and uh, sent some uh, torpedoes, but in the process to find it, they had torpedo bombers uh, in the air, and these bombers were flying looking, and uh, the clouds cleared, uh, and they saw some ships below them, uh, and they said, we found it. They went in uh, and dropped their torpedoes and torpedoed their own boats. And thank God they, the fuses didn't go off. It was just a miracle of God. And they didn't sink their own battleships. English. English. And uh, what is that? The place of judgment. And wickedness was there. Uh, in the uh, uh, Light Brigade, Alfred, uh, Lord Tennyson, captures that thing in the Crimean War. And I'm sure you've uh, heard of it. But uh, order was given, and it was like cavalry going straight into artillery, and they weren't, that wasn't what they were designed to do. And it was obviously going to be an absolute failure. And, and uh, Tennyson captured the spirit of it. And in that poem and in this line, it says this Forward the Light Brigade. Was there a man dismayed? Not. Though the soldier knew someone had blundered. Theirs not to make reply. Theirs not to reason why. Theirs but to do and die. In the valley of death, rode the 600. What was that? Place of judgment. Iniquity was there. That's what it was. And Solomon says, and moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment, that wickedness was there, and the place of righteousness, that iniquity was there. The place of righteousness, what's that? Where would that be? Well, I'm going to say the place of righteousness is the church. Amen. And in churches, in Eons and eons and through the centuries, uh, there's been leadership and wickedness or iniquity's been there. And, uh, you know, I could, I'm not going to do it. As an evangelist that's been out now for about 25 years, I could give you stories tonight that you're, you would just be staring at the floor and just going, what's the use? <laughs> I mean, the stories that I've heard and then the ones that I've even been under over the years. And uh, it's just, what are you going to do? Well, you know, I thought, Lord, why? And you know what he says? He says, not many wise, not many mighty, not many noble are called. And I said, Lord, why'd you do that? I mean, in the average church that I'm in, when I say, hello, Reverend, they go, who are you talking to? I mean, I mean, the average church I'm in, the guy's going, what am I doing here? 
<laughs> you know. And why did the Lord do that? You got to keep your eyes on the Lord. Amen. You got to keep your eyes on the Lord. I mean, it's just absolute uh, essential that you do that. I mean, church upon church. I mean, stories. Um, adultery. Theft of money. I mean, if it's not the pastor, it's deacons. There was one church. Uh, there was a deacon there. And he had been siphoning money. This is a big church. He had been, he helped count. And he had it set up. I mean, this went on for a number of years. And he would count the money with them. And then uh, they would, they would, you know, set it aside in this this private room. He and I think two other guys, something like that, and a private room. The cash would be in there and everything, and and then they'd make the deposit on Monday. And uh, he'd count with them, and they'd lock the door where he had a key. And then a little bit later, he'd go, "I forgot something," and he'd go in that room and he'd siphon off a couple hundred bucks or a thousand bucks. And that thing went on. They figured for years, for years, went on. And just, what is he? He's leadership. And a place of judgment. And iniquity, iniquity was there. Uh, churches are, are that way. You got to keep your eyes on the Lord. You got to keep your eyes on the Lord Jesus Christ. I mean, thank God You've got a pastor and his wife that are that are honest. They're they're loving God and they're running the race. And uh, I'm not here to puff anybody up or anything like that. But thank God, um, I, I don't want to discourage. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> but I mean, I know some Bible believers that they're just going through the motions. They've been in the ministry now for years. And they're discouraged, and they're just like, oh, well. And they just kind of go through the motions. And I beheld the place of righteousness, that iniquity was there. And the last place of righteousness, that iniquity was there, is there, is you and me. Is you and me. I mean, thank God we're washed in the blood. Thank God the new man's there. Thank God uh, we've been made the righteousness of God. Thank God. But even in me and you, it's just iniquity. Yes. Just iniquity. I get so tired of it. Just wicked, wicked, wicked. In my flesh dwelleth no good thing. The old man which is corrupt. And uh, that's you and I. Iniquity's there. And uh, the prayer, the Bible reading, trying to walk with God, praise the Lord. One of the greatest joys of heaven is never having to confess another sin. Amen. <laughs> That's heaven. Amen. 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 And the reason I don't like confessing it, because I know I've let him down. Yeah. I don't like doing it, but the thing that breaks my heart is I knew it grieved him. And I, I failed him. And it's the place of righteousness. And iniquity was there. Uh, if you get your eyes on all that's wrong, uh, it's going to be an excuse to backslide. Uh, you just a steady diet of Limbaugh and Hannity and all that stuff. It'll just put you where you want to just blow your brains out. I mean, it just is. It. Um, it's just, and I've seen some guys that way, and they got they quit listening, and they actually got some joy. And again, I'm not against all that. It's the secular world, and you know, all right, but well, you gotta you gotta watch it, and uh, you gotta keep your eyes on the Lord, and uh, and walk with Him with Jesus Christ. There's no iniquity. Whatever decisions he does, shall not the judge of all the earth do right. right. And he always does right. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, can't do wrong. Right. Thank God. But in all this judgment or lack thereof, 
there's iniquity and there's wickedness. And you've got to keep your eyes on the Lord because God is watching That's right. everything. Everything. And one day, one day, now remember this. I know you know this. One day, every wrong is going to be properly punished. Well, yes, that is true. I'm thinking my wrongs won't be because they're under the blood, but they got dealt with. Every wrong is going to be dealt with properly and punished. The people or the things that have happened to you and I that are not right, it's going to be dealt with. And it's going to be dealt with properly and right. That's going to happen. And not only that, one day every right is going to be properly rewarded. That's going to happen. Years ago, um, the British East India Company would go to Britain and they would trade with China. They had salesmen that would sail the sea and go over, they'd purchase and, and do uh, trades and business. And some of the salesmen would get to China and they couldn't, the Chinese wouldn't deal with them at all. They wouldn't give them time of day. And they're like, and then other salesmen, boy, they're just, just going like mad. And they're like, What'd you do? And he goes, I don't know. Yeah, but they're dealing with you. They won't even, they won't give me the time of day. Said, well, did this, that, and I couldn't figure it out. Couldn't figure it out. And then, I don't know how they found out, but what was going on, I don't know how long this went on this way, but when a new salesman from England would come to China, they had a motel room that they would put them up in, or a room, they would put them in. And they had a bed and a table, and on that table, probably a candlestick, but on that table was a Bible. Not because they were Christian. And there was somebody watching, <laughs> and looking through somewhere. And they would watch that guy the entire time. And when a salesman would come and some of them would take that Bible and they just put it in the drawer or they just didn't touch it. Didn't open it, didn't read it, nothing. And when it didn't pray, Chinese go, not that one. And then they had other salesmen come and boy, they'd, they'd be reading that Bible and they'd pray and they'd say, we can deal with this guy. And they knew they'd be honest. And they wouldn't take them. And you know what? God's watching everything. And one day, it's all going to be settled without wickedness. Yes. Without iniquity. The Lord is watching it all. Let's pray. Lord, I just thank you, God, for that knowledge. God, that everything's going to be all right one day. You're going to work it out and going to take care of it. It's Everything's going to be judged by you and your righteous. Lord, thank you. And I just pray, God, that you'd remind us of these things. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Man, I'll tell you what, I was hot as a pistol when you are bringing up that stuff in Illinois. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Huh? Yeah. I mean, that was hot. Oh, I was hot. <laughs> I was ready to get on Facebook. Well, how, did they, how did they do that stuff? Wicked. Wicked. And it's, I mean, it's, and it's within this legal system. It's unreal. I know. Uh, yeah. Governor, we got a governor like that, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wicked. Yeah. yeah.
you know, there's a lot of people that think, you know, getting away, getting out of the States is going to make a difference. And the thing is, if all the best people, I mean, if all the prayers left the state, who would be here? I thought maybe you had a something with you. Wow. Scared me. I was testing her heart. I thought it was she was. Oh my god. I didn't know what happened. Well, oh boy, uh, I, 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 I was hoping that the camera would have picked it up, but it did. And she was kind of under it. I actually looked over and was like, I wonder if I picked it up. Because I've, I've like, Single that out, it'd be like that Tony Shirley clip where he falls down the steps. Uh, I'd be putting that on the I'd be putting that on the music if you jump it up and get it over there. Uh, I won't do that again. <laughs> it's a good week. Thanks for coming down. Thank you. Being with us. And Thank you. Good time. Thank you. Uh, that was a really good message. You know, I'm hoping you guys will be absent so I can preach that. <laughs> Say it's mine. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, they'll be back up in a couple weeks. They'll be in Watertown, and Watertown is actually going to have a few meetings. Uh, what is it? Uh, Monday, and Tuesday, I think. They are. Friday, it's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay. Next. Next Friday. Next Friday. Next Friday. Next Friday. It's not this Friday coming. Right. It's the next Friday. Friday. Uh, it'll be Friday and Saturday in Watertown. We'll be down there. I actually don't know if I'll be there, but it'll be my way at 7 o'clock, Friday and Saturday, uh, down there. You can't go Sunday. Right. Right. Exactly. <laughs> amen. 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 Um, but, uh, you know, uh, uh, pray for uh, Miss Barker. You know, it wasn't here tonight, and she's been coming in. Um, and I know she, when she left here, uh, last week, she was going to go back to her church to tell them to use the King James Bible. Amen. So, uh, you know, you don't know if she went back, told them, and they, they gave her that old uh, stuff like you got up in Canton where they they badger the King James Bible mm -hmm. and try to prove why it's got mistakes in it and everything yep. else. Yep. And uh, it's a shame that those men are still around that have a little bit of education. I think those things, I mean... Uh, you know, I mean, in our hearts, we'd like to just smack them around and everything. Yeah, amen. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> amen, I do. Yeah, the but, place uh, of righteousness. So yes. With that part, when you were talking about soldiers and stuff, man, and that hits me hard because uh, uh, in the place of judgment, I was in the place of judgment, wickedness was there, and I was the wicked man. And, you know, and I've met a lot of wicked leaders yep. in, uh, in the Army. Yep. And, uh, and I'm... I'm I, I, I will say this, it is very lopsided, and I'm talking about even at the lowest type of uh, looking for anything good, I, I will tell you anybody that's high up in our military uh, that goes overseas, the fornication and adultery is so incredible uh, now that the troops are uh, together with women and everything else, and I, I, you would expect it out of the privates and you would expect it out of the, uh, special, the, the, the enlisted men that are low. Uh, but I'm going to tell you, it was the sergeant majors, it was the colonels, uh, it was the lieutenant colonels and the majors, uh, more than it was the young troops. Wow. Mm. Wow. And they were doing it, and it was so messed up and disgusting. And, uh, and that was then. And these are the same people that are going to make decisions right. on what area to fight in and who lives and who dies. Right. Mm -hmm. And... You know, when you were preaching that, what well, I could think of was all that. These guys are no different than you guys. Look, listen, the reason, the best reason to pray for me is I got bad eyes. Whatever I'm doing in my life will come out of this pulpit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When a preacher's fornicating, it will come out of this pulpit. Mm -hmm. It will come out of their pulpit. And, uh, and, and, you know, and if his fellowship isn't with the Lord, he can only, pre he can only preach so long in the flesh. Mm -hmm. And I have done it. I've preached in the flesh. I'm mm -hmm. not going to tell you I have. Mm -hmm. but, uh, and you can do it. Yeah. But I can tell you this. It's not helping anybody. Yeah. Right. So please, you know, stay, stay and pray for me because we don't, I don't want wickedness to be from 
the yes. seat of judgment. Yeah. There, there you go. Comes out of and let it be God that speaks. Amen. 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 All right, let's pray and be dismissed, Father. I thank you, Lord God, for our time here. I thank you, Lord, for uh, preaching to us. I thank you for them coming by and, and uh, giving us help, Lord Father. And I just ask you, Lord, that last message, get it to my heart. And, uh, Lord God, that uh, let me know who I am. Lord Father, put my sin before my face, Lord Father. Uh, Lord, help us with our men up here that will preach, Lord Father, and uh, and send us more preachers. Pray, raise them up, actually, out of us, Lord Father. Amen. Uh, Lord God, and uh, I love the men that preach. And Lord God, I just ask you, if you would, to keep our, uh, try and keep, to help to keep our hearts clean, Lord Father. Uh, uh, keep our hearts clean, Lord Amen. God. Go further, Lord God, and just help us and and uh, help us to be merciful to others that are trying to clean up, Lord Father. We just ask you, Lord, to bless us and, and bless them on the road and, and bless their hearts to keep them clean, Lord Father, as they yes. go out of here, Lord God, uh, uh, and keep their marriage as they're on the road, Lord Amen. Father. And uh, we just ask you again, Lord, to dismiss us, let us dismiss in peace, and we thank you uh, for the night in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.